Hi, I'm Matthew Ingram and I work in the Geomechanics Department at Sandia National Laboratories. Our mission here is the solution of complex coupled process problems for geologic and engineered materials. The department hosts the flagship rock mechanics laboratory for the Department of Energy Complex. The Geomechanics Department and the Geomechanics Laboratory was founded by Walter Herman in 1972. The purpose was to support weapon programs, primarily underground nuclear testing, effects, and containment studies at the Nevada test site. The Geomechanics Lab was born from the weapon program needs requiring extremely high pressure and high loadings for test systems involving penetrators, piezoelectric materials, silicon carbide, and foams. The use and purpose of the Geomechanics Laboratory quickly broadened as the Department of Energy and Sandia National Laboratories added energy security to their national security concerns. The Geomechanics Department was asked to participate in and assume the scientific lead for the new WIP program in Carlsbad, New Mexico in 1976 which led to the establishment of the Creep Lab that studies time-dependent deformation of geomaterials such as salt. DOE's and Sandia's energy work cascaded later in the 1970s into oil shale, including modeling, laboratory work, and in-situ testing in Colorado. Over the past four decades, the Geomechanics Department has developed a variety of laboratories and modeling expertise to support environmental management, nuclear non-proliferation, defense and industry, and basic energy science. Our laboratory and numerical capabilities are useful for many different applications such as underground construction, materials science, mining, oil and gas, underground energy storage, hazardous waste disposal, and groundwater protection. This geomechanics laboratory is used to perform tests which recreate in situ earth conditions. It is divided into two main areas, the high bay and the creep lab. Here in the high bay, the lab testing hardware consists of pressure vessels, load frames, and flow-through systems which are controlled and data is acquired by an MTS test star system. A number of unique capabilities have been developed in this geomechanics laboratory to investigate behavior and phenomena not commonly associated with geomechanics testing. These include an axial torsional load frame used to study normal and shear compliance of natural and induced fractures, a system to evaluate fracture of rock using high voltage electrical pulses at simulated downhole pressure, and a true triaxial test system. These have been used in conjunction with an acoustic emission detection system to locate microcracks in time and space. This information is used to study the evolution of failure features in rock. Recently, this technology has been used to investigate the stress conditions leading to borehole breakouts as applied to wellbore integrity. Additional unique technologies in the lab include gas release and gas flow measurements taken in real time during triaxial compression testing using quadrupole mass spectrometry. These systems are in rolling carts so that they can be coupled with any of the loading frames in the lab. The mass spectrometer systems have been used to demonstrate real-time noble gas release during rock deformation. The split Hopkinson bar is used to test materials at high strain rates on the order of 100 to 10,000 inches per inch per second. The creep lab is controlled at plus minus one degree C to help stabilize system electronics. And an uninterrupted power supply ensures data assurance. Recent work has included gas flow measurements during reconsolidation and studies of hydroshearing in geothermal systems. Testing of crushed salt is important because it helps us design, analyze, and achieve performance assessment for salt repositories and heat generating nuclear waste. These environments require knowledge of thermal, mechanical, and fluid transport properties in reconsolidating salt. Testing in the creep lab was performed to determine the processes by which salt reconsolidates. The Geotechnologies Laboratory is utilized to investigate reactive fluid flow under a variety of multiphysics conditions. The research is driven by shale science and engineering, wellbore integrity, waste disposal, induced seismicity, bentonite sealing, underground CO2 storage, and contaminant transport. The laboratory includes high pressure and high temperature equipment. The visualization, additive manufacturing, and digital rock physics laboratory has a unique combination of capabilities for creating, testing, and visualizing both natural and synthetic samples for digital rock physics. The laboratory includes a Zeiss laser scanning confocal microscope with three lasers, optical microscope, surface profilometer, and microloading frame for uniaxial compression testing in the microscope. The geomechanics department also studies the microstructural evolution of geomaterials to understand and predict constitutive response 
at the macro and application scale. The focus of this is coupled thermal, hydrological, mechanical, and chemical processes. Examples include studies of cap rock sealing behavior of clay-rich lithologies for assessment of long-term geologic carbon dioxide storage, assessment of nuclear waste storage facilities in shale or salt, multi-phase flow and sweep efficiency, like oil and or carbon dioxide and brine in enhanced oil recovery systems or other subsurface reservoirs, and micron and larger fracture behavior in clay-rich or other rocks. A large variety of instruments and capabilities are available for use by the geomechanics department that range across optical, electron, and x-ray petrography in two and three dimensions for quantifying rock texture and pore structure from the micron to centimeter scale. The geomechanics department relies on large-scale computational modeling of geomechanical processes as one of its core capabilities. Finite element computational models are routinely used to evaluate in situ geomechanical processes, design and operation of underground facilities, evaluation of data gathering methods for detection of underground activities, and simulation of high strain rate events. This computational modeling is often performed in conjunction with laboratory testing, field testing, or with field operations for which extensive field performance data are available. Two significant examples of the use of geomechanical modeling in this manner are for the Strategic Petroleum Reserve and for storage of radioactive waste. Finite element modeling is frequently used to evaluate coupled thermal, hydrologic, mechanical, and chemical processes in resource extraction, such as oil, natural gas, and water, wastewater injection, carbon dioxide sequestration, and emplacement of radioactive waste. The geomaterial models are most important to geomechanical applications, including salt creep models, crushable foam models, and the Sandia Geo model, dubbed Kayenta, that has been implemented in the Daggio. These models were co-developed at Sandia and are used extensively in geomechanical analysis. The Sandia Geomechanics Department's past successes lie in its focus on delivering strong scientific and engineering solutions through hypothesis-driven research and its future successes will depend on its continued focus on multi-physics processes in rock mechanics.